Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. The way this tractor is running, you never know it's been around for a century. It's a 1916 Monarch Never Slip 3018, owned by Pennsylvania's James Owensby. These creeper-style Monarch tractors were suitable for irrigation ditching, rice fields, and putting tiles in low wetlands. The Never Slip ads boasted they work where wheel-type tractors can't. Never slip was when you go in the fields years ago, you plow and things like that, tr rubber tar tractor back then, they got in the rut or something, a little wet or something, they will spin, get stuck. Where this never slip will keep on going. That's what, that's what they call never slip. With a tractor like this, you want to keep your hands and feet well away from any moving parts. As for the 3018 in the name, that was a reference to the horsepower. 30 at the drawbar, 18 at the belt. I got a beaver engine in it, four cylinder engine in it, and it's 18 horsepower it is there, and uh, it's, it's a pretty good little engine to have there. If you had an open field, it'd be nice driving, just go straight roads every night, turn, but it's something like we're doing here, it, it's jumpy, real jumpy and things like that. It's not like the, the other tractor thing, gear driven, the chain driven, take the slack out of the chain you got to before to take off. When you reverse, you got slack in the chain, you got to pull it, you get it in the slack of that chain. It will, it, will, it will jump around on you there. This 1916 machine was built in Watertown, Wisconsin in the first year of the Monarch Company's existence. By 1928, Monarch had been bought out by Alice Chalmers. Tracking down a rare vintage machine like this one is no easy task. And good luck finding parts. Good thing James has plenty of patience. Find a good tractor, like find that now, like find the Eagle Haystack, good to use tractor now. It, you gotta do a lot of running. It took me years to get that one. It took me about 15 years to get that one there. A very hard tractor to find. I, I've been all, been all, almost all over the United States. Different shows, things like, look for stuff like that. And this one here happened to come up and I sailed there and I knew all about it. I like Monarch tractors. That's why things like that. I got a couple of Monarchs in my garage. I got four of them in my garage. and. That's why I like the Monarch tractor, and that's one of the scarce ones, and that's why I decided i got to have it. Since I got it, then I had it pulled down, re-ring, honed out, and bearings all adjusted and everything like that, and uh, that's what's now, and the carburetor rebuilt and all that. It's hard to believe something like it would last that long and never rush to that. Probably been, it's California come from Russian, it's probably there, and the guy had it, probably had it in the building, you know, a shed or something like that, but unbelievable. The condition of the tractor is, it's, it's nice shape. James is a fan of big, heavy iron machines. Besides this Monarch and several others of the same brand, you'll also find Cleetrack, Alice Chalmers, John Deere, and Caterpillar in his collection. Good thing he has his grandson Tom to help with the heavy lifting. As James has slowed down over the years, Tom has taken on a greater role with their restoration work. Now he's 75% of the operation. <laughs> uh, he's 75% of it. He pull wrenches like I do and sandblast, and he does the same thing I do, repair work, put stuff together. He got good, he's good there. So Tommy did a lot of my heavy stuff right for me. James's collection isn't just made up of tractors. You can see he has gathered a wide range of items, including an impressive number of toys. It's pretty good size toys like that. Probably over a thousand toys, I guess, in my collection. And now, type like the literature, I got that's four file cabinets, five files cabinets full of, of literature I have. I've been collecting that for years, too. I have something you enjoy. You know? James is one of the most accomplished restorers in the country, and he's always on the lookout for interesting pieces to add to his amazing collection. It's in your blood, part of your life, you know. Better than uh, watching TV and falling asleep. <laughs> At least to me, and make your life feel a little better.